So what is so special about the lima leaf frog? Well, these are just, a, just a, an en enigmatic species. They're just something about leaf frogs that I really, really like. And difficult to put my finger on what it is because you never see them during the day. They're not, they're not the ideal zoo display species, but they're just such a, such a fantastic looking animal with their white eyes and their little thin legs. Yeah, I love them. Do they have any special characteristics that set them aside from other frogs? Well, they superficially look just like a, any old green tree frog, but when they wake up and walk around, they don't hop and jump so much as, uh, as other frogs might, but they tend to sort of walk around a bit like a lemur, or I think a bit like a slow loris, really, in my mind. And why is it so important that zoos help out these species? Well, the habitat of these species and um, the populations have declined so dramatically in the past few years that um, without uh, without a cooperative programme with zoos and, and uh, in-situ breeding from places like the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Centre and other zoos in Biaza and, and across Europe as well, um, there would be no, um, there's no ex-situ or no, no rescued population. And so we can, we can safeguard a population for zoos to show and to demonstrate the breeding and the conservation issues that are happening in the wild. So what work has Bristol recently been doing for this species? Well. Um, over the last 10, 12 years or so, we've been fine-tuning our, our husbandry skills with these and I've written some husbandry guidelines to help other zoos and um, we just recently, cons uh, just re recently um, contributed towards a DNA programme where we swapped all the frogs we have. We now know the relatedness of each frog to each other and we've managed to pair them up into the best way to maintain the best genetic diversity that we possibly can. And, and through that, we'll then be able to guarantee future generations for other zoos to keep and also um, just to safeguard the frog if, um, if anything severe happens in the wild. So there's hope, for the, bitter, hope really. for the lima leaf frog yet? Hmm. Uh, there is hope. Um, we're doing reasonably well in captivity. We'd like to, we'd like to um, cooperate with a few other partners in the future. Uh, and also in the wild, in Costa Rica, there are, there's quite a lot of habitat restoration and, um, and breeding of this species now in some, some new areas. Despite the old habitat being lost, there are some new areas being started up and um, some of the guys in Costa Rica are doing a, a particularly good job out there.